Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we're talking about cable needles. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm here with another Knit and Nata Vlogmas. We're talking today about more of the bits and pieces that are in my Knitter's Toolkit. I hope you'll join me for that. We're talking about cable needles. If you want to find out more about what's in my um, toolkit, then you can look at the previous two videos. I was talking about measuring tape and what's in my needle case. And I'm gonna have more video for you in the next few days too. So hit subscribe, click on the little bell. You know the rules now. If you want to see more videos, you need to be notified. So hit on the notifications bell and you'll be notified when I give you these new videos. I'm also giving you videos every Tuesday through December to help you with Christmas knitting, work out what gifts you want for Christmas, all that kind of thing. And I'm gonna be giving you Tuesday morning videos every day, every Tuesday through 2019 too. So, if you want to know all about those then yes you need to subscribe and hit the notifications bell okay let's talk about cable needles now this very lovely set came with let's knit magazine which is a uk knitting magazine and i thought why do i need three they're really pretty because they're different colors um i'd been using a single one that looked like this it was a silver one with a hole in it and with a ridge in it and I'd been using straight needles tiny little straight needles they looked like double pointed but they were much much shorter and I've been using those for cabling and then I got these and I thought what's the point why do you need three and then I started using them and I realized that there was a very good point to these if you start knitting in different thicknesses of yarn then you need the different thicknesses of cable needle this comes in 2.5 4 and 5.5 millimeter and they're ideal because if you have a fat one a really thick one here you don't want to use that for any thinner yarn if you're knitting with four millimeter needles you don't want to use a five and a half millimeter cable needle because it stretch the stitches and you don't want that and then if you're knitting with five and a half millimeter needles, generally speaking, across your pattern, you use a thinner needle, the stitches are likely to fall off. I haven't really knitted very much with um, anything thicker than Aran yarn by that time. I wasn't into knitting with chunky yarn that much. So when I got these, I was tempted and I thought, Hmm, how about I knit more stuff with chunky yarn? I know it's faster to knit and when I started using these cable needles I really liked the effect of the cable on chunky fabric. So that's what I started doing and it meant that with this set of three I could vary what I was cabling and it worked really well. I was really happy with these um, and I've continued to use them ever since. So if you're new to cabling then get yourself a set of three or four and you'll be set and remember don't use them if they're bigger than the needle that your uh, that your stitches are on across the row because it will stretch the stitches and try not to use them very much smaller than the needle you're knitting with because you're likely to lose the cable you're likely to use the, lose the few stitches that's why that curve is there to so just make sure they don't fall off but it will only hold it so much and I have seen cable needles where it's more of a rectangle that, that comes out there instead of just a little curve. So yeah, just make sure that you've got a set of three or four because they will be really helpful and then you'll use them for years if you want to really get into cabling. Okay, so that's my cable needles. Um, I don't actually have any more now, I just use these. Okay, that's my toolkit for today. We'll delve more into the depths tomorrow. Um, do subscribe and hit the notifications if you want to see that and if you want to learn cabling then I have a cabling course on my website it's called crafty cables it's all there and ready for you to begin cabling if you've never done cabling before maybe you think it's a technique you'd like to learn next year you could ask for it for Christmas because that's quite simple or you could ask for the money so you can buy it yourself um, 
and it would be great to have you join us. Um, cabling is a really big thing in knitting. We want to see the texture, we want to see the creativity that goes into cabling. I'd love to have you join me with the Crafty Cables course. I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, I will see you again tomorrow for another Knit and Natter Vlogmas. Bye for now. Happy knitting.